Hello guys, Exonical here and welcome back to another video on my channel. In this video I'm going to be telling you guys on how to fix your GTA 5 game if it keeps crashing with mods. Now, this is not a guaranteed fix. These are fixes that I do when my game breaks with mods. So this is all the steps that I usually use to get my game working again. So without further ado, let's go ahead and begin this video. Alright, so make sure, if you do have a Steam, make sure you go ahead and open it up and go to your GTA 5, go ahead and right click onto it, go to properties, go to local files, and go ahead and click verify integrity of game files. Now, when you click onto it, it will go ahead and fix all your files. This is a pretty long process. It can take about 5 to maybe 8 minutes long to actually do. Now, if it says all files were successfully validated, that means nothing got fixed. Now, if it says that it needs to a reacquaint a few files then it will start downloading new files in GTA 5 and it can be pretty big usually around 600 megabytes of a download as well so if it does pop up saying all files were successfully validated go ahead and purposely break your game now you're probably wondering why you would do something like that well first off validating game files will fix and find any files that are not working correctly so just go ahead and go to your GTA directory and delete something that was originally part of the game, such as possibly um, update, the update folder, SDK, I'm not entirely sure if that was actually part of the game, um, maybe the mini crash reports, logs, installers, execute code, something like that. Don't delete one of your mods because that probably won't fix the issue unless you delete the mod that's actually causing the crash in the first place but odds are you're not going to find it on your first try you'd have to be very lucky so I'm going to go ahead and cancel because it did say uh, all vials were successfully validated so I already know it's not going to work for me alright guys make sure you go ahead and open up your open IV so as you can see you will have a mod folder now if you don't then you're kind of screwed because more than likely you've installed multiple mods into your actual game directory through OpenIV so go ahead and delete your mod folder now you will notice that you cannot delete it even if you're in edit mode I am in edit mode right now you cannot delete it the only way you can actually delete it is if you were to go wrong folder hold on to your directory right here we're to scroll down don't know why it's in the opposite format but go to your mod folder and just delete it and then more than likely all your mods will be gone and then your game should work alright guys make sure you go ahead and start up your GTA game I'm on Steam so I'll just go ahead and click the play button on Steam make sure you go ahead and open up your task manager now wait for the game to start but as soon as it starts and this goes away you will notice that a new window will pop up right here or a new task right under the Grand Theft Auto V launcher and then you will need to go ahead and end that task so let's go ahead and wait a second and then go ahead and end the task really fast before the game starts now you will notice you have the option to go in safe mode or you can go ahead and retry. More than likely you will already have this option if you're crashing with mods. Now go ahead and click safe mode and there's a huge guarantee that you'll get in with your mods working. I don't know why this works but the problem with safe mode is all your settings are going to be resetted to the lowest. That means you're going to be in an 800 by 600 window and everything's going to be on low. I know it does suck if you have a really good computer but there's nothing more that you can do about it so I'm going to cancel because I'm not going to start my game right now alright so the next thing that you can do is reinstall the game now I know that most of you guys do not want to go ahead and do that but I'm sure a lot of you guys are not in my situation and you have decent internet that is not limited 
So you can go ahead and just reinstall the game and it should fix everything there. Now I've had to do this more than a few times and it really does suck when I have to do that. I do all the things that I showed you uh, first and then I reinstall the game as a last resort. And then if all else fails, I recommend waiting a bit. Sometimes if you wait, it for some reason works. I've had that happen many times where I just like wait a few weeks and then my game just instantly works again. I don't know why. It's kind of odd. But I guess that's just logic, I guess. I'm not entirely sure why. But anyway, if you guys did enjoy this video and this did help you out, please leave a thumbs up and don't forget to hit the subscribe button on my channel. And I'll see you guys in the next video.